All right, so we're just going to do a get confirm resolutions size minus one, right? So this will be um, <clears throat> so we'll just split this a little bit to make it readable. Get confirm resolutions uh, size minus one like this, and uh, the comment here will say uh, last element. And um, once we have it, um, we can then say remove, right? Uh, uh, confirm the resolutions. We need to take it off the list. Remove the last one. And the last one is basically is this one again, last element. Something like that. And um, <clears throat> we also need to update history, right? So we also have the history here with, to update. Okay, so history needs to get the same thing over here. So unconfirmed get top item. History add, these are all strings, right? So this is confirm. Confirmed. Confirmed string this, right? So this is update history. Something similar here when we get the, the last one before we remove it, we just say history add uh, um, I don't know, unconfirmed, just this is silly language. And we take this uh, confirmed resolutions, get uh, again, get last element over here, right? So get this last element. So now it's time to. Uh, um, so this plus this, um, something like that. So I don't know, hopefully this is more or less readable. So the history is updated. So basically just working on this uh, scenario to uh, manage unconfirmed, confirmed, and history. But the history becomes annotated, right? So the history is annotated with confirm this and unconfirm that. So we should have pretty usable data object right here. Back to the controller. Controller will have its own constructor. Of course, controller uh, uh, will create an instance of NIR data. Uh, we'll call it the uh, business object just for the, I don't know, like uh, uh, what would be the good name for it? Uh, uh, data store, right? So this is like a object that holds all the all the important data. So we say as soon as uh, as soon as controller is created, the data store is also created for now. All right, so we'll see this is a constructor. Right, so we'll see if we need to do to I'm sure that we're gonna be adding something to the constructor. Okay, so far we have 
um, constructed the main view uh, with just the labels and a couple of buttons. We constructed controller and we con constructed the, uh, the data. So the controller will have to basically support all these buttons right here. So the buttons so far are confirm, oops, hide, uh, well, hide, yeah, we may, uh, we may, this is just to hide this history form, but we also need to maybe add this uh, uh, clear, clear history, right? Just add another, um, let me just provide some space over here and uh, Just say that we also will support clear. Oops. So it'll be clear here and um, all right. So we just. Uh, fix this and uh, and for every button confirm oops hide and clear we're going to have to have methods in the controller so controller will be able to support these user actions right so this is like user actions uh, avoid um, <clears throat> confirm history and I'm not sure if I'm going to need the uh, the one for uh, hiding because uh, the form can hide itself it doesn't really need to notify the controller about this so for now I'll just hold the uh, these three confirm oops and clear history which by the way could be coming through different forms at the same time so this is the controller right now Uh, to support all the all these actions um, and um, uh, the form now needs um, 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 uh, to be able to say how about actually yeah I will yeah I'll add this later uh, right now um, Actually, let's do it now. Array list of strings. Get um, unconfirmed list. Fix imports. Okay, good. And uh, also. Um, Get confirmed list and uh, uh, get history. So what's going on with these three methods? I'm thinking that um, the form uh, where is my form here? This is the form that we're mainly focusing on right now. Uh, this form, which is called view main, right? This is just like it's it's expanded view <clears throat> next to the to its name. The form will decide at some point that it wants to show information. So the main view only is concerned about unconfirmed resolutions. So we'll just uh, 
go and display this list. Um, and so my plan is that when this form decides that it wants to refresh its view, it will go to the controller and say, give me the list, give me the list of unconfirmed resolutions. And uh, the controller will provide the list, right? The controller will, will provide this list to the form. The, the, uh, the form will iterate through this list and update these labels so that the labels can be populated. And uh, likewise, the history will say, give me the, conf uh, give me the history list. Okay, and uh, so um, we will, um, we can, you know, we can return these things uh, as, as we go. So, uh, so this is why the business object that we have also needs uh, these um, getters uh, for, for these reasons. So just go um, like like somewhere. Typically, I just provide some space. Right click and say insert code. For some reason, I need to do this like second time. Insert code and here like this appears. So I need some getters. So I choose getters. And these getters will be all three of them. Right? Just give me. Um, one, two, and three. Okay, so all three of them generate. All right, so get uh, da, 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 all of this. Okay, so let's uh, try to basically then we can now delegate all of these at the controller level. So I'm back uh, looking at the controller level. So the controller now can delegate all of these calls to the data object so the controller will decide that um, data store right we have this data store it has um, it has all these methods here confirm data store undo we call it oops in our uh, vocabulary here <laughs> then we say clear history there is a method for this that i already added clear history like this and uh, for these uh, right here data store so we just return return um, this uh, get unconfirmed list it looks a little tedious but actually everything that looks tedious and not very clever is actually good news so get confirm resolution so this, this should not discourage you every time you can implement a method that looks like one line of code it's perfect it's just ideal situation there is nothing wrong with this not every method needs to be like you know 10 pages long uh, seriously so this is good we we'll just do some plumbing over here uh, data store uh, get history Okay. So this isn't bad, right? Um, and um, let's see if 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 we have these two you know, actions, um, confirm and oops. Uh, I suspect that we also need this uh, main view, okay? Uh, reference to our um, so this should be kept private, I suppose. Private, right? Another private. Um, will be the window, which is view main. So this is like window main. And we will, we will populate it. Oops. We will populate this main. And looking ahead, this view history, when we add the history window to the system, 
window history will also be here okay but for now just this is postponed till a bit later on because we need to get started with some testing over here so far pretty simple and now we need um, Uh, so now we need something like we need um, we need the main method like put together uh, a main method so that we can put together um, uh, like uh, uh, put together something that um, will like you know we need uh, everything to be in place um, let me see so um, Okay, um, so I guess um, this is our main right here. Uh, generated part of this, we have the main method. So we'll use this one. Scroll down. And uh, so the approach may be that uh, inside this main method, we can create the controller, which is called controller NYR. How about I move it? this way this side for now right so we control we say controller nyr controller equals new controller so we create the controller we say view main um, main window equals new view main and we'll say main window set visible view main can take our controller as a parameter for for its constructor Uh, the window, according to our design right here, right, uh, view main, this this uh, object here, has access to the controller. Controller has ac access to the view main. So, therefore, we need to take this controller and make it part of our, um, this is, by the way, also should be declared private. And uh, so we will also add control. Let's add controller to the top. Private controller available here. The constructor, of course, will take this controller. And immediately, store this controller for future use. Uh, what's missing is that we need to be able to set this window um, um, inside the controller. So we're just going to, again, go somewhere to the bottom of this uh, um, class, uh, uh, create some white space. And here, when I right click uh, insert code, Right, so just again, for some reason, I, I have to do this twice because the first time I cannot see the screen. Uh, the setter for the window for view main, that's the one that I want. Okay, so it just creates the setter. Now I can go to uh, back to the main uh, method and finalize this by saying, at this stage with just one view one controller and one business object right so we can say controller uh, set the window and this is our main window so at this stage uh, we have, um, right, if we look at our 
at our design. Uh, we first we create the controller. The controller is created first. Then we go ahead and and by the way, as we create the controller, its constructor uh, will create uh, the 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 data object or the business object right away. So the business object is is created at the same time when constructor of NYR executes. So this is in place and this is in place. So the next thing that we do, we construct the, the main window right here. And so now the third object right here is created. And uh, the main window takes a reference to the controller as a parameter because I modified its constructor right here, added the controller parameter. And then um, uh, once we have uh, created the window, we tell the controller, here's, here's your window that you will be controlling. So the next thing before we make it visible, we need to populate window with some information, right? Mm, how about we say, um, mm, I mean, we just add a method here, I think. Operations. Uh, in these operations, we will say public uh, void uh, pullate view or populate uh, populate labels. I don't know. Populate resolutions. If this method is invoked, uh, what we need to do is that we need to controller. Uh, actually, we need to get this array list. Array array list of strings from the controller. I really uh, so we will call it resolute. Uh, we'll call it. Um, uh, Unconfirmed, unconfirmed list, I think, right? Uh, equals controller. Uh, remember, we added this uh, method right here, get unconfirmed list. So that fits pretty good right here, get unconfirmed list. And I'm doing everything in order to get to run it and uh, do some minimal testing so at least to be able to populate it initially so unconfirmed list controller get unconfirmed list and then we'll create a loop over existing labels right so something like this I'll just copy and paste this loop for every label we'll just say set text uh, um, um, I will create an index because I need to access uh, the unconfirmed list elements by index. Mm. And uh, here we'll just uh, say if this index is less than unconfirmed list size, Then uh, uh, we can safely set this label. Right, we're looping through all the resolutions inside. All right, set it uh, unconfirmed to equal to unconfirmed list index. Okay. Otherwise, we just need to clear it. We just say set text blank, right? So it's just a blank thing. Right, so hopefully everything looks more or less okay here. So once again, array list, we need to say fix imports over here. Uh, and uh, resolution set text and confirm list index. 
Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting that this is not an array. Uh, get index, right? Get index. So I cannot use square brackets. I need to say get because this is an array list. All right. So just one more time. Fix imports. Everything's okay. Array list. What's wrong with this? Unused import will ignore it for now. It's really, it's not true. <laughs> it's import is being used. Okay. Mm, uh, very good. Uh, so we populate. So let's just go ahead and populate resolutions before the form becomes visible. As we said, the controller is in place. Business object is in place because it's part of the controller construction. Main view is in place. Controller, like window has the controller. Controller has the window. Just about to be visible, we say populate resolutions. Just make a call into, and uh, of course, this is not a static method, so it needs to say main, uh, main, main window populate resolutions. Okay, so this is uh, this is the basic plumbing. So now it's we're about to start testing it. Uh, test this initial display. <clears throat> 